<clears throat> Yo, what's up, YouTube boxing community? This is the Boxing J. I'm um, right here with another video, a boxing video, since nobody's really making any boxing videos right now. Um, <clears throat> Blood Boxing's been out for a while. Uh, Blitz, Bruce Blitz hasn't made a recent boxing uh, video. Boxing Fan 4. Um, there's there's a lot of there's, I mean there's there's not many vi many videos so <clears throat> I'm here to uh, lay one out. What I wanted to talk about was the rest of this year with boxing, the fights that are gonna be coming up soon, and what fights could happen <clears throat> yeah, this year. So Julio Cesar Chavez just fought last weekend. Um, I didn't get to see the fight, but what I heard is um, he decisively beat John John Doody. Uh, <clears throat> that's good to hear from Julio Cesar Chavez because I mean he 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 really is young and he really hasn't fought talent yet uh, up until now. I guess you could say I wouldn't say the best talent, but at least he went up to twelve rounds now. So. We can say he's ready for a championship bout, um, at least in length. Um, I don't know about skill-wise, but I think this is the first steps um, that we will be seeing Julio in a championship fight pretty soon. Um, his promotion is doing a good job by getting him this fight. Hopefully he can go up, up and up, finally getting a championship fight. <clears throat> Let's see, Sab Judas coming back to fight Jose Armando Santa. Um, I believe this fight is at 140. Uh, I really don't know. I know Sab wanted to go back to 140, but I don't know if it's a catch weight or is it a 140. Um, that should be a good fight. We should see Sab. Uh, we haven't seen him fight in a while, at least fight a good potential opponent. Um, we can see if Sab still got it, if he can come up and rank. Um, he said he wanted to go back to 140. I um, mean, 140 and 147 are full of talented boxers, so the sky's the limit for him if he can get through this fight. We have uh, Danny Green fighting Paul Brings. Um, Gamboa, Gamboa, and Orlando Salido. This fight is just going to be really good. I'm really anticipating this fight. I want to see how Gamboa is going to do. Gamboa is um, <clears throat> he's a really young rising star from Cuba. I believe he's from Cuba. Um, I'm not really sure where. I think it's from Cuba. Last time I saw him, I was amazed. He has great power and speed. Um, he's just uh, a top, a top uh, lightweight. I think he fights at lightweight or featherweight, super featherweight, somewhere around there. But he, I've seen him fight, and he's a man. He is an amazing boxer. The next weekend after that is Juan Manuel Marquez versus Juan Diaz, the second fight. I'm pretty sure Juan Diaz is gonna come with a way different game plan than he did in the first one, because he just came in like a straight bull, and Juan Manuel Marquez is uh, <clears throat> is a uh, uh, his best encounter. I mean, and he has a great chin, so Juan Diaz could not knock him down. Uh, in the first fight, Juan, Juan Manuel Marquez was able to come back and dominate Juan Diaz. Um, if, but I still think Juan Manuel Marquez will beat this fight. Um, I don't think age has gotten to him yet. If it has, uh, he might lose. Uh, Juan Diaz has came from a loss, Juan Manuel Marquez came from a loss, so they're both uh, are looking for a win. Um, but the fight should be good. Uh, it's going to be in pay-per-view this time. So Juan Diaz, I think that's Juan Diaz's first pay-per-view fight, so he should be getting some cash this time. Uh, then we on that undercard, we have Danny Jacobs versus Perong. Um, I really don't know who his opponent is, but Danny Jacob is a great, talented young boxer. Uh, we'll see how he fights. Uh, I saw him fight uh, when he fought uh, Juan Diaz. When he 
O en Juan Díaz, en Juan Meño, no, no. Juan Díaz, en Parle Maldonado, fa. Um, I saw it here in Houston and I see Danny Jacobs. That's the first time I saw Danny Jacobs and I was able to see him live. And he is a pretty good boxer. Um, his that fight was pretty amazing. It was amazing. Uh, I remember that fight. Um, then we have Devon Alexander fighting Kotelnik. I really don't know how to say his last name. Uh, Devon Alexander is one of the top um, light welterweights. Um, hope maybe after this fight there could be a potential Timothy Bradley fight. I know Timothy Bradley is fighting later along this year. Um, who else we got? We got Thomas Adamac versus Michael Grant. I was surprised that Thomas Adamac was able to beat um, what's his name? Thomas Adamac beat um What's that guy's name? Man, I forgot. It's a big guy. I know y'all know him. Big guy. He bought one. Of, he bought Klitsch, one of the Klitschko's. Um, it was an amazing fight. I really was surprised that Tom Dadamek was able to beat that fight. Coming up from cruiserweight, he beat. Oh my God! What's his name? Um, damn, I can't come up with the name, but I know who he is. Um. Versus Michael Grant. Michael Grant has been a fading boxer. He hasn't really been up in the big fight. Um, he has fought uh, Lennox Lewis. He fought. Uh, oh my God, I'm forgetting names. He also fought this other guy where he got knocked out like two or three times in a round. And he was able to come back from that. Michael Grant, um, I really don't think Michael Grant will beat this fight. Even though he is really tall, he really does not use his height to his advantage. He has, his legs are not strong. Um, he tends to lose his legs roof when he's hurt. And if people can take advantage when he's hurt, it, he can stop, they can stop the fight. But he can get back up. Michael Craig can't get back up when he's knocked out. But the thing is, if you can, if his opponent can uh, close the bout by TKO. And so I really uh, anticipate Adamek being, winning this fight. And Adamek should, after this fight, he should fight one of the champions. He should fight uh, uh, one of the Klitschko's, either one or David Hay. I mean, he has proven he's a he's a strong heavyweight. Um, but that's pretty much it for the big fights. Uh, there's uh, many other people are fighting. David Tua. Um, who else we got? We all Glenn Johnson is fighting. Uh, and other fights as well. But these are the Haz Hazim Rahman. Andre Ward, oh, no. these are past fights, but it should be an interesting year. We still got September, October, November, and December. Uh, maybe Hopkins can come up with a fight this year. We got Hopkins. Um, we're also hoping to see Mayweather and Pacquiao, which can possibly go down in November. Um, there's a lot of fights out there that could happen this year, which could be great. Um, but that's pretty much it for for June and August. The fights coming up. Um, what other fights do y'all want to see? Um, hit me up. Leave a comment. I know a lot of people want Mayweather and Pacquiao to happen, but what about other fights? What are, who else would you like to see? Maybe one of the Klitschko's could fight David Hay by this year. We never know. Um, so hit me up, send, give me a, a, a comment, tell me who, what fights you want to see. I'll be coming back. Peace, the Boxing Jade.